Do you want to know how to recreate the helmet from Star-Lord in Guardians of the Galaxy? Then keep watching. Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ines Alea and welcome to VFX Explained, the show where we recreate visual effects from blockbuster movies or viral videos. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. We are going to cover four topics in this video. The first topic is going to be about head tracking. Then we're going to take a look on how to get that helmet. Then we're going to take a look on how to apply the effects to it and apply textures and lighting. And then last but not least is going to be the final comping of putting everything together and get our awesome result. This effect is actually something I recreated for the Epic VFX Masterclass. For the students of the Epic VFX Masterclass, I'm going to be explaining that in depth. Um, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to explain my workflow and all the thoughts behind it. So if you are interested in detailed VFX learning, then I would highly suggest you to go to learnepicvfx.com. We are currently accepting new students to our masterclass and after that the doors close, we won't accept any new students for a while. This because I want everyone in the class to have an amazing experience, the right guidance from me and my team. We have a lot of fun, we learn a ton of visual effects all together and I have seen some incredible improvements from beginners or even advanced people that join the class and just needed to up their game. So if this sounds like something that you might be interested in, definitely go to learnepicvfx.com, sign up with your email. Once the doors are open, act quickly because we are only going to allow a certain amount of people to join the class. Once that limit is achieved, we won't accept any further students without any exceptions. So yeah, hopefully I can see you there. Okay, so to create a head tracking effect, uh, the first thing that we need is to capture our footage. We have to pay a little bit of attention when we're trying to record something to be tracked afterwards. So for this object tracking, we want to make sure that our object has enough detail. Luckily, I have a beard, so the hairs are kind of like a texture and they have a lot of detail in it. So it's really easy to track a beard. But if you don't have a beard and you have that perfect silky smooth skin, then you might want to add some dots on your skin. Maybe even for me, I could have added a few dots here and on my forehead, but you can also apply some filters using After Effects to enhance all the textures that you already have on your skin. If you're in puberty and you have pimples, great. You will be able to track your head just perfectly. <laughs> so in After Effects, I turned my footage into a black and white image. I also enhanced it with unsharp masks and just to make everything come out a lot better. The pores on my skin and all the details. I just wanna see as much contrast as I can because the tracking software usually looks at the contrast of the image and not the color. Once I have that, I exported my footage and I brought it into Cinema 4D. Here I used the motion tracker to track my scene and I just deleted all the points around my face. You can also just mask out your face and just track that area. But I was lazy to do the masking, so I just tracked it, removed all the excess tracking points and that left me with something like this. I know this track isn't perfect, but if you will be using tracking dots, you can also do a manual track where you actually track those dots and you're going to get a lot better results. But for this effect, I think it works pretty great. So then I was thinking, how am I going to create this helmet? Because I like to create things on my own. I started modeling, but I quickly realized I'm going to spend way too much time on creating a model. So I'm going to be lazy and smart at the same time. I'm just going to download a pre-existing model of the Star-Lord helmet. And luckily I found this link. It's a free to download 3D model that you can use. It's not perfect yet. So I did some tweaks afterwards, like delete a few of the duplicate polygons and just clean up the entire mesh. I textured everything using Octane. This is also a topic that I cover truly in my masterclass. If you have no idea how to texture with Octane, I'm giving you a very deep introduction to that. So if you really want to improve your material game, I can highly suggest you to join as well. Anyway, after doing my materials, this is the helmet that I was left with. Now I need to place that helmet on my tracked footage. So I'm actually going to take one of the nulls that is tracked and I'm just going to replace that with the helmet. Try to put it into position and then I also imported a real head model. I tried to match that head model to my own head. The reason why I am doing that is I want something to actually be covering the back part of the helmet and I just wanna give that head model a shadow catcher so it looks like when the helmet is on top of me, it's actually casting shadows on my face and this is really going to make it much more believable because if you have a helmet without the shadows, it's just going to look fake. 
You can also keyframe a little bit of positions and rotations to make sure the helmet is perfectly tracking onto your face. You might have some errors here and there, but that's okay. Just try to get rid of it with screen shake afterwards. <laughs> okay, so now for the animation, I actually used a similar technique from my Iron Man video where I had the boot uh, turning into my Iron Man suit, which is a really cool video. But for this technique, I basically used a fracture object, put all my objects into that fracture object, and I applied an effect called plane. Here I am using a fall of map and if I animate that fall of map I can now do whatever kind of animation I want. Basically what I have done is set the scale on my plane effector to zero. That way if I'm going to be using a fall of map I can now make them animate from zero to one and if I'm going to animate that fall of map from the back to the front it's going to look like it's animating like to the front of my head. And because this model consists of all these multiple pieces it's going to look wow. If you want to spice it up a little bit more you can also add a delay effector. Here I set it to spring and that's just going to bring a little bit more life to your animation. All right so now that I have my final effect I'm also importing an HDRI sky then I go into octane and I use the multi passes to render out all these different passes for final compositing. I also exported my wireframe here because I wanted to animate my wireframe to cover my face then I rendered out my entire animation as an image sequence and brought it into a Adobe After Effects. In After Effects I used my wireframe first to kind of make a scan of my face so I just animated that with some simple masks, added a blue color to my wireframe and I also added the perfect glow preset which you can download for free on our website. Then I tweaked all the colors to match with my scene and I crepitized my model by adding a little bit of blur, a little bit of noise, a little bit of motion blur, stuff like that and that left me with this final result. My name is Inya Zalea. And this is my masterclass. Alright, I'm pretty satisfied with the result. I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you did, give this video a like. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to stay notified when I upload new videos. Also, be sure to check out learnepicvfx.com if you want to become epic at creating VFX. I'm going to teach a handful of students all my techniques and all the secrets behind creating epic VFX. So if you don't want to waste years on learning all this stuff, then you can always join me and I'll see you there. Until next time, create epic videos. By the way, did you see my previous video? It's pretty cool. I'll link it up here and maybe you can continue watching. Bye. The clock is ticking. You need to hurry. There is not much time left. Go to learnepicbfx.com and sign up before it is too late.